So, let's make um, our connector straps. And uh, these will be hidden connectors when we get all said and done. But for now, we're gonna make the actual uh, connector. So, it's a two inch piece of vinyl. This happens to be 12 inches long and you actually need about 16, I say 18, so you have plenty of start and stop time to sew and then have nice pretty pieces, but my vinyl is 12 inch in its uh, width, so we'll just we'll make two of them. We'll start with uh, drawing a line down the center of the two inch piece. Use your ruler and your grid mat and everything is nice and easy. And we're going to use our half inch double sided tape right down the center of that line. Don't pull it tight so that nothing buckles up. Smooth it out. Now we're going to pull off the cover of this. We have our cordura. It's about a three quarter of an inch uh, width. We don't want it much thicker than that because we need room for the vinyl to fold over it. So this is down the center as well. The Cordura, as you know, is uh, for stability. It adds, um, so you can't, the vinyl won't stretch over time. It shouldn't. It um, makes it a very nice secure strap so that when, you know, the purse has weight from the handles and from bag contents, it can uh, hold up and it looks nice. But actually, you don't see this that very little of the connector in the end when you do a hidden connector for these bags. But we'll go ahead. So we're going to add another piece of double-sided tape down the center of the Cordura. Oops. So smooth it out. Remove the film. And if you want, you can use your mat and then just fold it so it's on the two inch line and fold the bottom to the one inch line. So basically it's a half inch fold and do that all the way across. And then you can flip it and do it the other side. And you want to make sure that the uh, you, you're buttoning up the edges of the vinyl so that we have a true one inch connector because our hardware is one inch. If you had larger hardware, you'd have to make a larger connector. Duh. All right, so. Again, you're gonna need a total of about 18 inches so you can make four nice four inch connectors but I'm just showing you as an example with this piece. So you can use the roller. This truly is a pasta roller. It's nothing fancy. I think there are professional strap rolling tools, but I have it and I, it works. So now I'm not gonna show you, but you're gonna go to the sewing machine and you're going to sew with a, about a four and a quarter inch stitch length around down the side. And then you're going to uh, about, oh, I say an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch away. And then when you get done, you trim off the bad parts if there are any and cut it into fourths. And then when you do, you end up with some lovely connector straps that I've already made. So here's two of them. And I have marked the center with a leather marking pen just to help me when I finally just uh, insert them into the bag. Of course, you're going to need your hardware. This is, uh, these are the pretty horseshoe hardware. This is from Amazon from a company called, I think, uh, Craft Me More. They're just uh, really nice quality. So I use these quite a bit. And then we're going to take our Lola piece, one of our Lola pieces, and you're going to uh, put it face down. You're going to get your template and you're going to put it right on top of the piece. And then with a marking pen, you're going to mark ever so carefully, or it says handle placement, you're going to mark that one inch line. So carefully go. And 
and then do it for the other side. Now when you get done, you just have those two little lines that are drawn. Hopefully you can see them. And now you're going to take your rotary cutter. I use a small one. I think it's an eight millimeter one. Um, and you're going to cut ever so carefully. Start on the outer end and you're going to just put it right there and push down and come forward. But you don't want to cut the entire one inch slit. So just start on the outer edge and come in the inner edge and come inner edge and go out I should say. As long as you're consistent. Yeah, start on the inner edge. And then use your scissors to uh, complete the one inch snips but you always want to make sure that you are cutting not too far in because you always can cut more but you can't cut less as we know so I'm just going to give these a tiny little bit and then so now we have our slits on the front it's probably a good idea at this point in time, before we do anything else, is to take a little fray check and put that on this area. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to let it dry. And then we'll come. Okay, so we're back and uh, I've adjusted the first slit so it's a little bit bigger than what I originally cut. But like I said, it's much easier to adjust these slits to make them bigger, but you can never go smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our connector and it's going to be wrong right side down, wrong side up so you'll see the little middle line. And we're going to gently insert it into the slit that we made earlier. It's okay if the slit is a little bit um, tight because we want it to be, okay? So you're going to pull your connector down all the way about to the your half inch line that you marked that you made before okay now it's not important at this time if your vinyl is uh, tucked in or not because we'll do that on the next time but what you want to have is at this point in time you're going to have these two connectors they are wrong side up this is the back and we're going to go to the sewing machine next and we're going to stitch above the stitch line on the vinyl, on the tab, if you will, the connector across the top, not below the connector. If you, if you sew below, then you can't um, put the connector down. So we're going to sew right, I will show you, we're going to sew right here, okay? So I'm going to stop the video and take this to the sewing machine. So we're back to the sewing machine. You want to have the thread that matches the vinyl. So in my case, black. But when you sew the bottom part, you want that to match that. So I'm going to switch out to white thread for that, unless you want that kind of contrast. Um, but I don't. So I have put on my uh, Teflon left zipper foot. I'm sewing on vinyl and I'm going to just sink my needle in once right and we are sewing about a quarter of an inch up from the the slit that we just cut and you're going to want to add your hump jumper because we're at an angle and if you don't at least for me at my machine it will just nest so we're going to hopefully you can see this we're going to go ahead and just sew And we are, I'm using about a 3.25 stitch length. And I'm going to sew twice, half and forth. I'll try to show you how it looks, but it's black, of course, and it's dark, but we'll give it our best shot. So.
we have sewn just sewn above the slit on the vinyl sewing the vinyl connector to the back and this line right there okay so now we're going to do it for the other side so we'll just flip it over our fuzz to the back, putting our about a quarter of an inch away. We're going to sink our needle and put the hump jumper. It may not need it, but I'm not going to risk it and have it go wrap. So we just use it. Hump jumper is your friend. It's going to be gone once, and we're going to go all the way back. Okay, take it off the machine. Now let me cut off some of these errant threads. So here's the back. Here's the front, and now I'm going to move the camera just a little bit of ways, and we're going to come to the front of our bag, and we have our hardware. Hopefully you can see this. This is our hardware on the front of the bag. You're going to take your hardware, and you're going to slip it on, and you're going to fold it over the connector piece. Make sure that you have the hardware that, I mean, the, the screw side that you want to be on the inside or the outside. So I'm going to put the big screw on the inside. And then you're just going to take this and you're going to take the connector and you're going to poke it through that hole once more. And then we're going to pull it through to the back. Ever so carefully. Okay. Once you pull it through, you're going to give it a nice tug. I like mine to be tight. I don't like mine to show at all. And when you do that, it looks like this. It's so pretty. And your vinyl, on the outer vinyl, should be tucked under. And if it's not, pull it out and do it again. But it should definitely be tucked under. Okay? So once you do that, you can do the other side. And you can just see how amazing your bag is going to look when you have those beautiful connectors. So we'll do this side, making sure that my big screw is on the other side. By the way, you could probably, I probably could have had more connectors sticking out, so maybe not do the halfway mark. It doesn't really matter, but I would have had a little bit more to work with. It's fine. Okay. So we're just going to pop this in the existing hole. You definitely want the slit to be a little bit smaller than one inch so that it doesn't just, that it fits perfectly taut. I'm running. Oh, it was running. Let's try this again. Okay. Now we're gonna pull this from the back. Pull it tight. And then we have both connectors are in. And the next step is to sew now on top of the white, in this case, from back to forth two times. I could do black, but I don't want to. I don't think I don't want that to be a, a standout from my bag. So I'm going to change my thread. I'll be right back, and then you will now know the mystery of hidden connect. Okay, so we're ready to uh, 
sew up our hidden connectors with our matching thread. For me, it's gonna be white so that it's not a, a statement on the front of the bag with all the beautiful quilting. So just make sure before you sew it that your um, connector is as tug as it can be that you like, that the outside vinyl is turned under, not poking out. And we're going to sew this way so we can see. And you're just gonna start like basically from one inch to the other. I would, uh, and we're going to go twice. I'm going to sink my needle, add my hump jumper, just to be safe. And we're going to sew. You're sewing from one end of the connector to the other, and then I'm going to go back over the same stitch line. do this one and then I'll show you so as we don't get pulling our connector tight pulling her tight put our threads behind us starting right on the end sink our needle get our hook jumper mm -hmm. Up, it just gives it a little bit of a edge to to start moving otherwise it does get uh, it can get jammed okay and we're gonna go back Here we are. She's pretty. Can you see? So we have you can you can't really see the the white stitching, which is good because put that there. We don't want that to, to take or outshine our beautiful black stitching. So that is it. What we would do next um, is my preference is to put a, a, a rivet. And I would like to add some reinforcements on the, the back here, maybe two pieces. And then you put a rivet right down the center. You put one or two right there. And then you can, it's not going to go anywhere. And those are very, very strong connectors. That's how you do a hidden connector. I know it's, uh, it's probably a lot more simpler than you thought. I hope you all will now embrace them and put them into your projects as well. That's it for Hidden Connectors. Until next time.